Hi there everyone, my name is Jeremy Lose. This video is intended for parents, guardians of students who are in either my chemistry or honors chemistry class. I have about the same things to say about both of them. So just tune in for a couple minutes here. You can put a name to a face. I'll tell you a little bit about the class. Um, in the last part of the video, I will go through some uh, additional information about how to use my Schoology site. Um, if you're interested in that, keep watching. If not, feel free to click off and go on about your day. So that said, let's just get started here. Um, so again, welcome. Thanks for watching. And I do have uh, my contact information here, although really the best thing you can do, and this is available at the, the website, is just click through and uh, send me an email. I look at my email several times a day. Um, the way you say my last name is Los. A lot of people say Luz and Laos and other things like that. Um, I don't get too offended if people say it wrong, but, but you do say it Los. Um, my planning periods, and this is important to know uh, for your students, especially at times they could seek help from me, are 1A, 4A, and 1B. So I mentioned Schoology earlier, and i just give you the broad strokes here, and like I said, I'm going to look at it a little bit more detail later. But on Schoology, you're going to find schedules, all assignments that we do. I work really hard on keeping that up to date, um, and all kinds of resources and stuff on there. So if you're ever wondering what your student is up to, it is available in pretty significant detail on Schoology, you know, if you're wondering if they have homework and all that sort of thing. At least the assignments are posted, so at least you'll know that much, and they will be available on Schoology. Um, so, in a chemistry class or honors chemistry class, um, how can you be successful? Well, the one thing I would really say is that the nature of chemistry is that the topics build upon themselves. In other words, um, what we learn in one unit is applied in the next, and so on. So. It's really important to, to, to keep up and ask questions. That's one of the best things that you can do. And seek help outside of class time. I'll, I'll talk more about some other things you can do with that later. So just keeping up, asking those questions, and uh, can prevent the sort of downward spiral type thing that we would definitely want to avoid. So that's more than half the battle is just um, you know showing up to class as much as possible, keeping up, asking questions as they come up. And if, if you do those things, uh, almost always you can you can achieve success. Um, students are given what we call a stamp sheet. That's how they keep track of homework and also unit objectives at the beginning of the unit. So again, just a thing to monitor and keep an eye on as you go. Um, if there's a student who maybe is is not so good at testing or you know worried about the content, um, labs is the way to go and to improve that grade. So. Um, very often we, we will do something like collect data in class, work with group members, but then each student will typically be individually responsible for some items. And those things, um, the thing about labs is that uh, you, I can look them over. So for example, we would um, almost always have at least 48 hours between when a lab is done and when it's actually due. So you know, we do a lab in, uh, in class on Monday, it's going to be due on Wednesday at the earliest. If, and this is a big if, if the student were to finish it early, let's say finish it Tuesday, they could come find me, I could give them some tips, oh yeah, before you do it, you should fix this, 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 and then they can get a nice score on that lab, which is um, actually in their largest grading category, so the biggest part of their grade actually is from the lab category. Um, so that's, that's definitely one thing I would suggest to anyone who's a little more fearful about the content is really focus on in on those labs, and then that can... Um, that can take away a little bit if the tests aren't as high as they would like them to be. Um, you know, I mentioned help, so you know, um, I'm always willing to help whenever possible on my planning periods and so on. Um, before school and after school, I do have some availability, and uh, so that that's a, that's really the first thing that the student should do is talk to me about getting help. Um, classmates are a big help. Other chemistry teachers. Um, Google, even just even just Googling a topic that we study in class will often yield dozens of tutorial videos and things like that. Um, we have something uh, called the Cougar Resource Center that is upstairs across from the main office that is staffed um, every period of the day by both peer tutors and teachers. Um, now, as I'm writing, as I'm recording this, we're just learning who's going to be in the in the Cougar Resource Center when. With with something like chemistry, it, it probably does make a difference who's in there and who's available. Um, but still, it's a great resource, and if nothing else, um, the people in the Cougar, Cougar Resource Center can can direct you to uh, 
a better place to go. So lots of things that students can do to get help if they need it. I should say one more thing I would mention is if you're curious about the difference between honors chemistry and standard level or what we call grade level chemistry, it really is that the same topics are covered. It's just that the honors level chemistry may and does go to a greater depth and go a little faster at each point along the way. And so therefore, um, honors chemistry will typically get in a couple more units. Uh, but other than that, we actually try to strive pretty hard that the uh, core of content is the same in both courses. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to say today. Please reach out with any questions. And as I said, um, feel free to click off right now if you'd like. But if you want to stick around, I apologize for the bell. If you want to stick around for just a moment, I was going to show my um, Schoology course in a little bit more detail. Okay, so um, we're just getting the year started, but it the Schoology course looks a little bit like this. So we're in our current unit here, Unit 1. Of course, as we add units, the additional units will show up here. Um, the most recent units will always be at the top, and it'll also say when we started the unit. So, you know, if you as a parent are not even sure what unit we're in, um, the start date of the unit should be there. And um, as we click in through here, um, the main thing you're going to want to keep an eye on is this document right here. And if we click through into that, this is where I post all the assignments. And this is whether um, you wanted to find out the assignments or if your student was absent and they wanted to find the assignments or if they were here and just forgot the assignment. Um, in all those cases, this is where they would want to click. Uh, so we click through here and of course we'd want to pay attention to the date. Um, and uh, here we have the classes coming up. And so the student or you would want to look through these here and there are some things to do. Now I mentioned labs earlier. Um, on this document, if we do a lab in class and let's say your student is absent, uh, this is where they can find what to do if they are absent. So we can see we're going to do this lab called Mystery Solutions. As, as I record this, we haven't done it yet. Um, and absent students uh, would want to look here and click through this link and there's basically an alternative version of the lab that's built for absent students. But other than that, they're going to do the same thing as the people who are here. And then the specific homework assignments, the stuff to work at home are there. Um, there are, um, I, I haven't quite finished building this, but um, there are some help resources available here. Typically, I'm going to slide that folder in so that we have those. And um, yeah, that's basically, that's basically how it works. So um, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, uh, I appreciate it. And please um, reach out with any questions. As I said, um, email is the best, jlos3 at cherrycreekschools.org. And um, we'll see you around. Bye-bye.